Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the drop-down icons now available in Squarespace version 7.1. This new feature can show an icon next to your drop-down menu item. Now, this icon, if you choose the arrow option, will also flip when the menu is open. Definitely a cool effect. We've got some options built into the editor for changing the size of this icon, but when it comes to customizing the color or the shape or even replacing it with your own image, for that, you're going to need some custom CSS, and that's exactly what we're covering in this video. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed underneath this video in the description below, but without further ado, I'm going to share my screen with you so I can teach you exactly how to use these codes to customize your drop-down icons. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and you can see that I have a drop-down folder right here at the very top and center of my website. Let's hop into edit mode and enable that icon. If I select edit site header and then click on the navigation and then choose this icon to edit the navigation, we have a new design tab. And this is where we can select the icon for our dropdown. We have 16 different icons to choose from. And these that I'm circling on the screen right here, these will change to reverse the arrow when the dropdown is open. So let's go ahead and work with one of those. We'll start with this icon right here. Now, as soon as I've selected it, it'll show up on the screen here, and we can make some adjustments to the thickness of that icon, the size of it, and the spacing, and the roundness. So check this out. We're going to go ahead and reduce it down to medium, so it's closer to the size of my font. Then we can reduce the thickness down to small. And for the spacing, we can have it really close to the text or set it to large and it's farther away. Do you see how that changes the distance between the word drop down and the arrow itself? Now, to adjust any of those, you can use the presets like we just did in this tutorial or click these three dots and manually adjust it using the sliders available in Squarespace. I'll go ahead and leave this at large. Now, last but not least, we have roundness. This is an interesting setting. I'm going to go ahead and return the thickness to large so you can see what happens when I choose the square option. Do you see how the corners and edges now become sharper angles? But if we choose rounded, it'll smooth those out. That can make a difference, especially if you have a thicker icon. Now I'm going to go back to the thinner icon because it's more in line with the font style that I've chosen here for my main navigation, but those are the settings that you can explore. And again, you have 16 different icons to choose from, and these arrow icons circled here on the screen will reverse when the dropdown is open. Let's take a look at that while we customize the colors with code. I'll go ahead and select Save and Exit. And to reach our custom CSS panel, the fastest way is to hit forward slash on your keyboard and type in CSS. To be honest, Squarespace moves this around a lot, and this is the quickest way to get there. So again, that's forward slash and access your CSS. Before we change the color with code, let me show you how the arrow reverses on a hover. Do you see how it flips for us instantly? Pretty cool effect right there. Now let's go ahead and change the color of that arrow so it's different than the color of the font in our main navigation. Here on the screen, I've added a code. Let me zoom in for you. This code tells the computer browser that when you see this icon, make sure the fill of that icon is red and the stroke is red. Now, technically, this arrow, it's just lines. We don't need to have this fill option here. But just in case you've chosen the arrow that has the triangle filled in, you want to make sure that you use both. So I included both in my code. Fill and stroke will change the color of that icon, but we can do so much more. In fact, let's go ahead and add a few more lines to create a unique shape. What I just added to our code now gives that icon a yellow background, and we curved it to be a circle by adding border radius 50%, and we went ahead and gave it a border around the icon as well, creating this unique shape for our drop-down menu. Now, when we hover over it, it is going to flip, and the colors and the background shape, that's all going to stay the same. But again, the arrow will flip on a hover. After creating this design for a client, they actually requested to have the arrow change opacity or be a little bit transparent on a hover. So I wanted to share that code with you before we move on to replacing the arrow with our own icon. This code that I just added to my custom CSS now tells the computer browser that when we're hovering over that folder, I want you to take that drop down icon that's flipped and make it 50% transparent or opacity 0.5. Now it'll be full color until I hover over it and then the opacity changes. If you'd rather change the colors, you can repeat everything that we have up here in this new line of code. And here I've adjusted the colors so now the arrow itself and the border around it are a darker gray and the background is a lighter gray. Completely customized from what it looks like when we're not hovering over the arrow. 
So again, I recommend changing fill and stroke to change the color because both will be important depending upon which icon you choose. Then you can adjust the background color, add a border radius if you want it to be round. Here's what happens if we remove that code. It's going to be a perfect square. And then we also have added a border around the entire icon. And if you want to customize how the icon looks when the drop down menu is open, you can use a code like this example right here. Now, what if you want to replace the icon with something completely different? We can do that with custom code as well. Before we add custom code to change these icons, we need to upload them to our files using the custom files option right here in the CSS panel. You can click this plus sign or simply drag and drop the files from your computer to upload them here into the custom files for your Squarespace website. Now let's go ahead and remove the code that we used before. I just pasted a big chunk of code right here into our custom CSS, and you'll find this entire code available to copy and paste directly out of my blog post for this tutorial. Now, there are two very important parts of this code that we'll want to change, and that's the placeholder text for image URL here. This first instance of that placeholder text is going to add the icon in this state right here when we don't have the drop down menu open. Now I'm going to remove this placeholder text and Squarespace will show me the two images that we've uploaded. I want it to be this help icon. If you don't see this showing up, just open your custom files and click on the icon directly and Squarespace will paste that URL right here into the custom code. Now, the second instance of the placeholder text, that's going to be the icon that we want to show up when we're hovering over the drop down and it's open. I'm going to go ahead and remove the placeholder text and I'll click my close icon. And now we can see the close icon shows up when we hover over the drop down and it goes back to the question mark when it's in its normal state, when we're not hovering over that drop down to see the links inside the folder. And one last thing I want to mention before we call this tutorial a wrap is that I recommend using a PNG file with a transparent background that's a one-to-one -one ratio, 100 pixels or smaller. It really doesn't need to be that big for the space of this icon inside your website header. Underneath this video, you'll find a link to my blog post where I have all of the codes that we just used together. You can easily copy them out of my blog and paste them into your own Squarespace website. Just make sure that you update the values so they match the unique style of your own creative Squarespace design. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And if you'd like some help with your Squarespace website, let me know in the comments. I'd love to make a tutorial video for you. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.